Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and you are at The Lopsided Crafter. Grab yourself something to drink, sit back for a spell, and let's talk about all of our yarny goodness and creations. Hi and welcome. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Erica. I am the indie yarn dyer, crochet designer, and knit designer behind The Lopsided Crafter. I want to welcome you to this new series featured here on YouTube as well as on our blog, The Beginner's Guide to Crochet. In this first video, I will be showing you the basic stitches of crochet. You will learn the slip knot, the chain stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. I have showed you step by step how to do these stitches and once you learn these stitches the sky is the limits on things that you can do. Your advanced stitches are all based upon these three basic stitches. So this like I said this video does go in conjunction with our blog post which will be linked below if you are finding this video before that post. I know that some people learn better in video format and some people learn in written format and some people learn with pictures. I have provided all of that to go along with this post. Again, this is part one. We will learn more advanced stitches and other things within your beginner's guide to crochet in future videos. We're going to learn about different yarn weights, um, how to read yarn labels, how to read patterns, how to rewrite the pattern in a way that you can understand it, how to read charts, all kinds of different things. All of those will be included in your beginner's guide to crochet. Um, all of that will be here on a playlist on YouTube, as well as the whole guide has a table of contents on the blog so that you can go to each part of um, the post or that way you, it's easier for you to return to a certain spot. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope it helps you guys. Please comment below this video to let me know if you have any questions, concerns, anything of that nature. Um, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And to all of my subscribers that are just popping in, hi, <laughs> welcome, and until next time, guys, happy crocheting. Bye. Hello, and welcome to part one of Beginner's Guide to Crochet. This video goes in conjunction with the guide over on our blog. Um, that will be linked below in the description. For demonstration purposes, I will be using Premier Deborah Norville and Serenity Chunky. This is a bulky number five. The colorway is cotton candy. I will be using an L crochet hook, which is a US L or an eight millimeter for this demonstration. So, as you've read in the blog, you need to know your basic stitches in order to crochet. Once you learn those, you can move on to your advanced stitches and options are whatever you want them to be. You can do all kinds of different stitches, stitch patterns, garments, scarves, hats, you name it, it can be done with crochet. So the first thing that you want to do when you have your yarn um, is you want to make a slip knot. So what I do is I hold the yarn like this. Now there are several different ways to make a slip knot. If this way is not comfortable for you, there are a lot of other videos here on YouTube that can show you how to do it. But for me, the way I learned was to hold the yarn like this, wrap the yarn around my thumb, wrap the yarn around my thumb, and then it kind of goes in between the two fingers. I pull that loop out, 
and flip it through. And that's how I learned. Now, again, like I said, there are many different videos on the internet, <laughs> on YouTube, that can show you how to make that slip knot. Okay, so once you have your slip knot, the next thing that you want to learn how to do is the chain stitch. Okay, so you have your slip knot here on your hook. Again, there are many different ways to hold your yarn as far as tension. Some people do this. Some people do this. You're going to have to learn whatever's best for you and whatever is the most comfortable. For me, again, I learned to hold it just like this. So for your chain, you want to yarn over, which means that you're putting your hook under your yarn so if the yarn is over the back of the hook and you pull through and that is a chain you see how it makes this little chain stitch it has like a little v this is the front of your chain and this is the back of your chain sometimes on certain patterns you will um, find in the instructions that they will say create your chain and then go into the back bumps of the chain that is right here these little tiny bumps right here is what they mean when they say into the back bumps of a chain so yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through that is how you do the chain. Now I'm going to do a few more of these here in fast motion and go ahead and show you the next basic stitch. Now if I am going too fast in your settings right below this video you can slow it down to a crawl <laughs> and see things in a little bit slower motion. Okay, so I'm going to do a single crochet, and I'm going to start that into the second chain from the hook. So here's number one, and here is number two. So I'm going to go through that Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you through the back bumps because nine times out of ten, that is what you would do. So, you're going to go through that back bump. So, now you have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through that first loop. So, now you have two chains, or excuse me, two loops on your hook. One from your chain and one that you went through the chain. You're going to yarn over and pull through both of those loops. And that is a single crochet. <laughs> You're going to go through that back bump, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. And through the bump, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. Now this <clears throat> is your single crochet. Makes a very beautiful stitch. Single crochets are usually done, um, well, I mean, you can do them in lots of different projects. Some some garments have single crochet, some hats have single crochet, but single crochet is probably your most basic stitch. So continue working across your chain until you get to the end with your single crochets. But I'm going to show you what to do when you get to the end of a row in order to get to your second row. So we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. 
I have single crocheted across my whole row. And it, I did want to mention that it is turning and that's only because we went into the back bumps of our chain. That will relax once we have more rows on it. The reason why I like to go through the back bump is because it leaves this nice chained edge on the bottom. So that way your project, your top and your bottom match. And I, I like to have both of mine, you know, matching. So that's why I like to go into the back bumps of my starting chain. Okay, so I'm going to give you two options here. If you want to continue to practice your single crochet, what you're going to do here at the end, get some more yarn here off the ball. you are going to chain one and turn and then when you single crochet you're going to go through both v's at the top so you're going to go through that complete v stitch right here and then it's the same technique yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both. Go through both those V's, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. And that is how you do a single crochet on your second row. So you would continue to do that as many times as you want to practice. I'm going to rip this back out and show you the half double crochet. Now these terms are US terminology. So the half double crochet, again you would chain one at the beginning of your next row, not counting your chain row. On your second row and rows beyond you would chain one and the reason why you do that is because you want your first stitch, your yarn, if you will, of that row to kind of be an equal um, length to the row that you're getting ready to make. So see it's kind of like it's a little bit higher. That chain one gives me a little bit of height. Okay. So for a half double crochet, you're going to yarn over first. So yarn over, and now what I do is I kind of just put my finger here on top of that yarn over just to kind of hold it there, and you're going to go into your V. You're going to yarn over and pull up a loop, and now you have three loops on your hook, okay? This was from your previous stitch. This is from the yarn over that you did before you insert, inserted it into the V. And this is the yarn that you pulled through the V. So that's why you have three stitches on your hook. From there, you are going to yarn over again and you're going to pull through all three stitches. And that makes a half double crochet. So a half double crochet is a little bit taller than a single crochet. And then we have a double crochet and a treble crochet. But we'll get to those in a minute. So again, you're going to yarn over. You're going to go through that V. And you're going to pull up a stitch. So there's your three stitches again your stitch from the previous half double crochet, your stitch from the yarn over before you went into the V, and the stitch that you pulled through the V. So there is your three stitches. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three. Again, we're going to yarn over, go through the V, yarn over, pull through, three stitches on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. 
and that is how you do a half double crochet. So you can continue to work on those, practice as much as you like, and then I will show you what to do when you get to the end of the round, or excuse me, the row. We're working in rows, not rounds. <laughs> So go ahead and continue working all the way across and I will be right back with you. Okay, so when you get to the very end, you'll have something that kind of looks, there's a V here and this looks like a V here. This is actually the first chain, your first single crochet of your chain. So you don't want to go into that. You want to go into this one. So you're going to yarn over, go through, three on the hook, yarn over and pull through. So now you can see that that stitch is even. Right? So that is the end of the row. In the beginning, if you need a little bit of guidance on where your first stitch is and your last stitch is, you can always use a stitch marker or a scrap piece of yarn and pull it through your last stitch and your first stitch once you've made it so that you know where to start and end. Now, if you want to continue to work on the half double crochets and practice those, you would chain one and then continue to work back and forth. You more, you know, more than welcome to pause this video, rewind it so you can refresh on how to do the half double crochet. But now we are going to learn the double crochet. So with the double crochet, there are a couple different ways that you can start your chain for turning. And you will learn which way you like best some people chain three and some people chain two. And that all has to do with how loose or tight they crochet their stitches. I personally chain two because three gives me a little bit of a gap and I don't like that. So now we're gonna work the double crochet. And it is the same steps as the single crochet and the half double crochet. You just got one little extra step in there. So you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna go through the V and you are gonna pull up a loop. That looks familiar, doesn't it? It looks exactly like what we did for the half crochet, half double crochet. But we've got a little extra step here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through only two loops. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through two. So that makes your double crochet. And if you look really close, it looks like you have two single crochets on top of each other. So again, we're going to yarn over, we're going to go through that next V, we're going to yarn over and pull up our loop. We have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through the first two, and then we're going to yarn over again and pull through the second two. Again, yarn over, go into your V, Yarn over and pull up that loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. And that is how you do the double crochet. As I stated in the blog post, these are your most basic stitches. And once you learn these and get these down, there are many things that you can do. You can do scarves, you can do afghans, um, you can do shawls, 
pretty much every stitch, <clears throat> even your advanced stitches, start with either a single crochet, a half double crochet, or a double crochet. So even if it's some fancy lace pattern or some fancy cable, all of the basis of those stitches are one of these three. So I will show you <clears throat> what you do again at the end. It's the same thing you do for your single crochet, your half double crochet, and now your double crochet. You're going to make that stitch into your last stitch. Again, you know, you can always use a stitch marker right there. So that way you know exactly where your last stitch is. And then to turn, again, you're either going to chain two or chain three. My double crochets, I know, are a little bit tighter than some. So that's why I like to chain the two. So you're going to chain two and turn. And then we would double crochet back across. So, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial to go along with your beginner's guide to crochet. Um, we will have a lot more information coming soon in video form. I hope this little tutorial has helped you learn the basic stitches for crochet. Your single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. Um, there is a lot more information in the beginner's guide in the blog, so <clears throat> continue to read that blog and watch for more videos that I will embed into that blog post <clears throat> so that you will get all the information that you need in order to be an expert crocheter. And until next time, Happy crocheting!